Hi, welcome back to our Royal JK Tinkering Division. Uh, in my last video, I was working on the uh, disassemble of my uh, Ninja Coffee Maker, and uh, now I am working on the cleaning and reassembling of my Ninja Coffee Maker. Uh, right now, I am taking off the uh, these uh, um, metal grommets here that hold secure these hoses rubber hoses i'm going to take all these hoses off and as you can see i'm using uh needle nose pliers it makes it easier to take them off um and i'm going to take off those rubber hoses and uh, set them aside for safekeeping Okay, this part, uh, it's got a spring inside, it's spring loaded. And uh, I'm gonna use tweezers to take the uh, spring out and set it aside. So be very careful not to lose this thing. And it's got also this uh, housing. Inside, there is a mesh with a rubber rubber side there. I'm going to use these uh, this pick here to take it out. Got to be very careful um, not to uh, poke it or anything. And uh, inspect the inside as uh, looks good. And um, yeah this is it looks good. Just a little bit of debris from the uh, coffee grains. It's kind of hard to clean, uh, but everything goes good. This is what I call the water heater. Um, if you can see, um, I'm taking out, this is all that, that gunk, that uh, um, wa water residue turns white. It's like chalky. That's what was inside that little nozzle. And I'm going to go ahead and take off the uh, this plate. It has two screws on it. And um, I'm, I'm going to try to uh, remove it by hand. Um, I don't know if it's uh, it's hard or not, but I'll try to do that. And yeah, it's kind of hard. Um, expecting this, uh, it's got it's got some flanges on the side here that I might be able to hit with something to be able to break it loose. So. I'm gonna just tap it here on the sides. It might loosen it up a little bit. And okay, I'm gonna tap this right here. That should work. And tap the other side as well. That should break it loose. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is one of the problems with this, with 
probably clogged inside and uh, water is not reaching its level and uh, it I guess the uh, circuitry does not detect a lot of water in there and it shuts it down for security purposes so it doesn't overheat that's what my guess is I'm gonna use these uh, um, this here pry it up and I can see the gunk already oh wow look at this all that stuff is clogging that right there just as I expected that prevents it from, from draining and a uh, big problem it uh, causes the situation to um, activate the uh, safety features and, and, and shut down the, the ninja that's what's going on and this right here has to be when I put it back I have to remember to put that nozzle facing up uh, just like the wires are facing up I cannot do that because it will not fit it will not work so just a reminder to myself and I'm gonna have to clean all this up real good and uh, shouldn't be the problem okay clean this up real good I'm gonna use these tweezers to take this rubber this is rubber uh, seal off gently I don't want to break it and you clean this off too it's kind of gunky as well I'll use some of that uh, um, some of that solution to clean the uh, coffee makers and it should be okay that's the coffee maker cleaning solution I'm going to use uh, that's what I used before to clean the the ninja but uh, I'm gonna use this also to clean the parts um, what I'm gonna do is gonna clean that nozzle on the top there and clean the uh, plastic housing on top the top you see right there that's actually the bottom part but I'm cleaning that out with uh, I'll be using the q-tips like this Yeah, it's kind of kind of dirty there. This is not much of a difference. This is just like uh, the housing underneath. It's been a little little bit of coffee you got on it, but it's it doesn't really matter. The most important part is the center. That center um, um, tube-looking thing has to be cleaned up real good inside as well.
Okay, and now I'm going to put some tape over this uh, um, little tube. Um, so I'm doing this to prevent uh, the uh, cleaning solutions from coming out because this is the bottom part. And I'm going to pour that cleaning solution inside so it starts dissolving all that, uh, that white chalky substance that's uh, out of the hard water that, that builds up. So that would be... Um, what I'm doing right now with this. All right, and now what I'm going to do is um, get a piece of wire, cut it out, and uh, I'm gonna put this little piece of wire around the tape. So it just applies some pressure to prevent that liquid from coming out because uh, it's a the liquid is a dissolvent and uh, it might dissolve the the sticky part of the tape so just to keep it in place now I'm going to use this, uh, this needle nose pliers and just tighten, tighten it up a little bit not too much you don't I don't want to like tighten it real real good because I don't want to damage anything so the slightly should be okay All right, so you can see all the uh, um, the white chalky substance in there from the uh, hard water. I'm gonna pour this little leftover solution in there. And almost immediately, it's gonna start bubbling. It's uh, eating away the, uh, the chalk and it's got like a, it's a chemical reaction. So it starts to uh, loosen it, loosening the uh, substance inside see right there it's all kind of bowling all right I'll be using a q-tip to just uh, um, clean up a little bit help it loosen up so, it should take a moment. Yeah. 
Should be good enough. Okay, now I have a the wire brush is much much better now that I have it mostly loose. Now this is going to do much better on helping me clean this out in the inside. So what I think is when uh, the water, you know, this is like a water heater. It goes, the water goes in there. It heat, it heats up the water, and then uh, it activates the little motor and expels it, expels it to the coffee pot, and um, it all gets all hard in there. And then when it gets clogged, I, I think the, the Ninja has like a system for safety. And uh, as it clogged up a little bit, it takes more time to fill. And uh, well, the system detects that there's not enough water in there and it shuts down the system, therefore activating the five beats. So that's what my conclusion is. I'm gonna use this uh, needle, needle nose pliers and put a little bit of, uh, that's a paper towel, just to clean the inside in a circular motion. Just to be able to apply a little bit more force on there. Yeah, not bad. Not, not bad, not too dirty. Just a little bit, but that's that's to be expected of. And as you can see, it's pretty much much better than it was when I first started. So I mean, I, I can't really clean it out real, real, real good because it's impossible. It's got little nicks and stuff in there, and. Uh, well, I might be able to clean it out more, but that's, but that's, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. And I'll just finish the cleaning with a solution. I'll put the solution in there and I'll clean it better. Okay, what I'm going to do now is going to put the hose, the rubber hose back on, on this uh, um, unit here. Everything's good. Everything is cleaned out. Just gotta remember how these go. Uh, just tighten up the clamps, and that's it on this one.
Okay, now I'm gonna put this housing back in. Yeah, I forgot the the little um, Sith filter here. Okay, you gotta be. I wanna be gentle. I don't wanna mess up the plastic, the rubber around it. But it just sits in tight. It doesn't uh, attach with anything. Just. The other housing, the plastic housing holds it in place as well. <clears throat> All right, gotta put the spring in here. And um, looks good. Now, let's put this thing in there. It's got. Uh, it's got some spring action to it when I push it with the tweezers. And, um... <clears throat> okay, and, um... Put the seal back on this, it's all cleaned up, ready to go. Get that ready for the water here, for the uh, the water here. And I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning on the actual base base of the housing there's a little bit of coffee that spilled so go ahead and take care of that and uh, from here on it's just backwards on the uh, assembling everything making sure everything goes into place that's why it's very important to take notes and take pictures of where everything goes so you know or I know how to how to put everything back where it goes um, that's basically a uh, assemble everything and you'll see it on you'll see how I do everything on video and uh, at the end I'll have a working ninja coffee maker all right that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, it is yes it is possible to fix a ninja coffee maker you just had to have patience and um, I know what you're doing and you have to have the skills and, and knowledge to be able to work with all this stuff so you don't you don't get hurt so it's very important that if somebody's gonna do a procedure like this that they know what they're doing they're just not diving in there and not knowing what what they're doing or, or trying to experiment for the first time so with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, hope this knowledge helped somebody to understand why the Ninja coffee maker, you know, goes with, uh, with this issue of the uh, five beeps and it stops. All right, I'll leave you with the rest of the video and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.
well, as you can see, Conk Maker is working pretty good. Okay, thanks for watching. Good.